G'day and welcome to Queensland Farmer. Well, I'm Chris, if I haven't met you before, and today we were looking at some um, leaky weirs. We did this leaky weir about, I think about four months ago, and we did this one about three months ago. And you'll see that uh, there's been a significant difference in the amount of water that we're retaining in this area. Now, I, in the last video, I talked about putting in some rock behind this wall here based on some feedback, because they, there was a view that water would come gushing over the top of this or through it and it would undercut. Now I had plans to do that today but when I've got down here again to have a look at the job I've noticed that the grass is growing really really well and in fact there's water still sitting here and that'll be why this grass is going so well. So I'm not sure if you can see that in there but there's plenty of water in there. So that leaky weir is working perfectly. Now the water's coming down through this little gully it's getting caught up here against this weir. It does actually make its way through eventually and you can see that the area over there to my left is also quite green, but in here there's still water sitting and it hasn't rained well for maybe a week or so. So that water isn't from a recent downpour. This is just sitting here, just oozing into the land beside it, doing exactly what we want it to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our mind. We won't put any rock here right now because I really don't wanna kill this grass. So we'll continue up through this uh, area and we'll put in some rock so we can create some more leaky weirs. We'll see what's happened here and see if we can create the same thing in different locations up this bank. Okay, so we're at the uphill side of that larger leaky weir. And, uh, and what we've done here is uh, we put some soil in here as well and some mulch and I put some grass in here and we had some produce left over from our kitchen. So I brought all that down here and just dropped it here. Now, I saw the cattle actually wandered through here and, and chewed up some of the produce that we've left. What I didn't expect to happen is um, this to grow, this to grow, um, and, and, and over here as well. And what they are is their mango trees that are growing. So I wasn't even trying, but clearly the soil fertility here is pretty good and they're growing mango trees in here. So. Uh, what do you think? Do we leave the mangoes here? Do we let them grow and reinforce this area? Anyway, please leave the comment section. Please leave a comment in the uh, comment section below and let me know what you think we should do. Do we leave the mangoes there? Do we protect this area now and make sure that nothing comes and chews those off? Or do we just uh, let nature take its course? Now, further up here, only about maybe two metres, so six feet. Um, pretty long grass in here. I've had a look in here and there's water sitting here as well. So once again, this area that we've created here has created a slight leaky weir, a bit of a dam that's going to allow water to run through once, once the water gets high enough. But for now, it's holding water back. I'll just show you that water just in a second here. If I can just navigate through. Yep. And here it is. So this water wasn't held back before. So Plenty of water there, and it's just sitting there, just oozing through. And the further I look back, the more water I see. So this has really worked here. And uh, think back, the sort of money that we've spent to address this was really three steel pickets and just a bit of effort. So anybody can do this, and you can see the results here already. So what we're gonna do is we'll get on and we'll create some more leaky weirs all the way up this gully, and we'll see what this does. And this area here is where we're going to uh, put some rock just now. We're going to use the, the fact that there's a tree there and there's another tree over here. So uh, we'll just put a bit of rock in there and that'll also form a nice little leaky weir in there. We've just wandered around the paddock just to pick up any fallen trees or bits of trees. And this is what we've just packed in here. Now, obviously water is going to flow through that. And the reason we've put that in place is just so when we throw a bit of rock in this side of it, it means the rock won't fall through into the hole behind it. Hopefully, 
Once we get the rock in the right place, this will just create another leaky weir. And rather than just have a little bit of water like this sitting here, we can have a lot of water sitting there. It's pretty difficult to get that angle right with uh, the tractor coming in. So some of that rock's gone where I didn't want it. And uh, I thought it might be just a bit easier just to grab a couple of these bigger rocks here and, and create what uh, effectively will be the side of the wall or the uh, leaky weir. So we'll just put those into place here. It's uh, the game of Tetris again, so I love playing. And uh, And I think that'll be right for us then to uh, just put the rest of these rocks up against this wall here. And this will form our leaky weir. Okay, so that's really much closer to what I was hoping to get to. So there's a nice wall there of rock and that should hold um, any debris that comes down here. And uh, just slow that water down. Hopefully we'll create a bit of a bank here. You might see that we uh, have got some lamandra here. So it's nice to see that's already here. I don't even need to plant that. There's actually quite a bit of lamandra around here. So this will hopefully this will create an environment where it can establish a lot more effectively than it already has. So the day's not done, so we'll get into some more. So we've just put maybe a quarter of a bucket or a bit more of rock into this area here. The idea is that this will be another leaky weir. So water will permeate through there over time or in bigger events, it'll spill out around the sides. But certainly this area here should now, at least for uh, up to maybe three or four meters up this way to my left, uh, it should fill up with water and retain this water here for a little while. And this is exactly what we're gonna do all the way up to the end. Although at the end, we've got a bit of a surprise, bit of something special. We're going to uh, address an area where that's eroding in a different way. Okay, back onto the tractor. So this is the next area along the gully we're going to put a leaky weir. Now normally I wouldn't recommend standing in front of a tractor on a hill. Um, obviously you don't want the tractor potentially coming forward and pinning you against something. However, I've put the slasher down, I've got the brakes on, 
I'm pretty confident that it's not going to move forward. And if it does, I can get out of the way that way. Anyway, just a bit of a, a safety tip there. So uh, I've also decided that uh, given where we're taking it from is a fair way from where we are, and the ground is still wet from those rain events that we've had recently, decided to fill the whole bucket up. And rather than just tip a little bit down here uh, at a time and make multiple trips, the idea is that we'll do one trip and hopefully uh, just create enough of a leaky weir here and then we'll move to the next section and then the next section and we won't need to continue to uh, go up and down that track and, and damage that over time. Okay, onto it. So this is the last area that we're going to do uh, the leaky weir, uh, at least in this gully, before I address that erosion that I mentioned earlier. So we're going to put about a metre of rock through here and uh, this will also hopefully just slow some water down. And this lamandra here that's growing will no doubt appreciate having that water sitting there and uh, looking after helping them grow and uh, hopefully expanding. So uh, we'll see how we go. I uh, decided to relocate the tractor, it was just taking a bit long and I managed to put the tractor either side of that gully and uh, drop a bit of rock here. That's not too bad, I'm really uh, move a couple of these rocks over and I think that'll be uh, good enough to hold back some water and uh, I think we've got ourselves another leaky weir. Okay, onto this erosion. Nature is starting to take control here. There's bits of timber, there's leaves, uh, dirt and sticks. So that sort of debris is getting caught up on it. What I'm gonna do here is just gonna help it along. I've got some more sticks to put into here. And then the area that feeds into this gully here is a little bit bare. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of rock over this and hopefully that will initiate all of those sticks and leaves and everything getting caught up into it and we'll, uh, we'll stop this erosion and we'll encourage grass to grow. And just over here, you can see that uh, just a, another, another section in here is where debris is forming, but it just hasn't created an area just underneath where the bucket is. So we'll address that now. And uh, hopefully this whole gully now is going to be sorted by the end of it. So we'll see how we go. Well, that brings the video to a close. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed 
uh, what we've done here and uh, maybe it's inspired you to do a bit of this around your farm. This is how the erosion area uh, should sort of come together. There's a bit of soil there from where I dug up out of that pile. I've probably taken a bit of topsoil and a bit of grass from where that uh, rock was, but I don't mind. It'll do some good down here. Over here, I just uh, came through and just slightly modified this after I dumped it out, just to make it a little bit more level. Should be able to capture quite a bit of water through here. And I think a metre at the base is probably wide enough to have enough mass there to resist being pushed along. But I guess time will tell. And I'll do some follow-up videos on how the progress is going. So thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, please uh, like the video if you haven't already. And uh, subscribe to the channel again if you haven't already. Bye for now.